All right, welcome back to the Superior Physical Therapy Monthly Newsletter. We're talking about arthritis. And in this video, I want to dispel the myth uh, of bone on bone, right? We, I have a ton of people daily. I meet somebody who comes in with knee pain or shoulder pain or back pain, and they're told, well, my doctor told me or my surgeon told me that I'm bone on bone. And there's nothing you can do except for replace the joint. And I'm here to tell you that is a complete myth. If you paid attention to the last video, we talked about the studies and the research that proves that arthritis does not equal, directly equal pain. In this conversation, I want to talk to you about bone on bone and how that metaphor or that way of labeling arthritis um, is really just not even possible. And so you can see on my screen here, this is just an image I found on Google that shows a knee. And this would be a bone on bone, right? Circled bone on bone. Pretty easy to find. Um, it was, there's tons of images online. And, and really what this is showing is an x-ray. And you can see that the dark space in between the two bones, that's called the joint space. And the, the way that they, the radiologists determine the severity or the presence of arthritis, in this case, bone on bone, is how much the joints, the bones, how much the, the joint space has decreased. Um, and that's actually a normal aging thing. Our bones, our joint spaces decrease in every joint in our body as we age. It's why you've lost height. We lose height as we age. Most people can relate to that. So every joint in our body is losing a bit of space, but that doesn't mean that the bones are touching, right? If you think about it, and I'm going to explain my doctoral thesis in a minute. Um, and I'm also going to attach a link in this email that talks about the new model of biomechanics or anatomy called biotensegrity. This is the leading model that is really digging deeper into the idea that our bodies don't function uh, like structures do, like buildings and bricks and things, right? So. If you think about it, my doctoral thesis was on, um, I studied runners and what happens to their shoes as they wear out. And we measured um, the forces that travel through the leg and the shoe itself. And what we found was, when you're walking, every time your foot hits the ground, there is two to three times your body weight and forces that travel through your body, through your leg. So in this case, the knee. So if I'm 200 pounds, that means 600 pounds of force potentially as I'm walking and I take 10,000 steps a day would travel through my knee joint, okay? Now, when we looked at this with runners, that force increased three to five times our body weight. So now we're talking about potentially 1,000 pounds of, my, of, of forces that would go through my knee every time my foot hits the ground when I run. Now, if we go and look at a bone, the femur and the tibia, um, and, and again, all human beings and all animals have pretty much the same density and, sh and structural strength of bone. It takes 800 pounds of force to break a femur in half. So we can break a, the biggest bone in the body in half with 800 pounds of force. Right, so now if you think about that, if my bones were touching when I'm walking or running, and I've got between 600 and 1,000 pounds of force that travels through my knee in this case, if my tibia and femur were touching, every time they'd be hitting each other with that much force. Enough force to make those bones bruise, fracture, and break. So when somebody gets diagnosed with arthritis and they're told they're bone on bone, the first question I would have is, well, shoot, do they have any bone bruising, any fractures, any bones that are breaking? Because if we're walking or running, it's bound to happen because our bones will be touching, which again, they're not touching. That's the point here is that the biotensegrity model shows that our soft tissues keep our bony structures suspended, like the Mackinac Bridge. It's suspended in tension. Not to mention inside this closed joint, there's fluid. Synovial fluid is inside this closed by ligaments in a capsule that essentially creates hydraulic pressure so that when forces do happen through the joint, the fluid disperses the pressure, just like a hydraulic line. So if you're told you're bone on bone, hopefully you can dig deeper in the article I'm gonna to attach to this email um, that really 
explains how that's impossible. So I um, hope you enjoy. hope you're having a great day, and thanks for listening.